Greetings, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani Ave and I'm a mom of two. In this video, you'll see me sort and I guess organize my son's and my daughter's clothes. It was just, I don't know, it was taking over the room and I kept looking at it and every time I would go through it, I just couldn't seem to get a hold of what needed to stay and what needed to go and mainly that was because I felt like well it's their size and even if they might not be wearing it right now there may be a day they will wear it and then sometimes that day will pass and now they no longer fit it I know it's the same old sad song but it's it happens it's real and I was very overwhelmed every time it was time to do laundry. It wasn't the washing that was a problem. It was the putting away of clothes that became a problem. So I'm still trying to figure out a nice, easy method that works for me. Right now, I'm doing the no-fold method where I can just tuck their things away in the drawers. But knowing me, I might not keep it that way, but it is working for now. I think I needed to tend to the kids. Yes, I am decluttering with my kids beside me. <laughs> That's just the way I have to do things. So I had to keep stopping and going. And it's, it's tough for me to keep up the same motivation that I started with because I do have to keep stopping. But I got through this process. So, oh my gosh, if you're like me, I just may the force be with you. And uh, it is possible. It is. I just wanted to state that this video was the original video. I didn't get to edit it and upload it, but this video was supposed to go first. I ended up editing and uploading my daughter's wardrobe declutter. And I think that's because looking at this video and looking at all the clothing items, I get overwhelmed all over again, like mentally and physically. I just, and I think I didn't want to edit it because it just, it looked like so much. But now that I'm doing it, it's not even an issue. But I just wanted to state that, that this video was supposed to be part one and then my daughter's wardrobe Dakota should have been part two. But I'm human. I mean, you know, we all create our own paths, right? So I guess that's what I did here. I just uploaded her, her wardrobe first and then my son. So it looks kind of crazy, but it's not. And I'm rambling. So I've only sorted and that took a good 15 minutes. There was a knock at my door The stops with my daughter, making sure that she wasn't up to something, anything. But anyway, here it is. So this stuff, okay, there's a couple of items for my son, and then the rest is my daughter's, and then this whole bin thing is my daughter's. So I want to do that separately and I completely forgot that I was putting regular clothes in here. I'm gonna do that real quick. These are pajamas. These are like linens, towel sheets. Um, this is donation. Just, I look, uh, this also is my daughter. So it's this bag, this bin, and what's hanging. And that's my alarm because I have to go. And then there's my daughter's socks on the couch, my son's socks in the bin. His undies, undershirt, um, washcloths, pants, shorts. That sweater is supposed to be by the door. He has two others. I like to keep his sweaters and jackets all together. Um, oh, and tops. So like I said, let me sort this real fast. Now, so I sorted. This is my daughter's. I'm do it separate. That's still rag hat. This is like sentimental things that I don't feel comfortable getting rid of just yet little shirt from when he's one and this is from Europe so you know that's a keeper forever all right now these are all the tops all the long pants the short sweater these are like stains so we I don't want to donate those these are pajamas this is definite donations they're fine I just don't want it hairbands linens a couple of things up here and then my daughter's things. So that is it. Now, that was phase one, phase two. 
pulled out my son's pajamas and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is not a match. This is not a match. There's no match. This I already counted. Um, there's no match. This is a swimsuit, so I don't know. And these are small. And this thing, the magic, this fluffy and furry and fuzzy, is actually something that I put on on top of his pajamas. So let's say if he's wearing a regular cotton pajama, I will let him walk around the apartment like this, keeping cozy. So I'm just gonna keep one, two, three, four, five sets. Remember, this is just like loungewear to keep warm in the apartment. And then he has on another set right now. So the six he's keeping, and then one, oh yeah, two, these are too small anyway. This, just no. So one, two, it doesn't really matter because these don't have matches. Santa, do I wanna keep? I have the matching set. My partner and I have the matching set to this. And I can give it to my daughter. I don't know. This is a maybe, a only maybe. This is all don't keep. That's like, that's about seven pieces right there. See, I'm feeling a little better. How many socks is a kid supposed to have? Cause this feels like too much. And I've been through this before, like a couple of months ago. It's just too much for me. How much is enough? Like he's going to school five days a week. Just let me know down below how much. Okay, there were 25 socks, so I'm gonna get rid of two, four, six, eight of them. Yeah. And even that's too much. So as these wear down and get those little fuzzy, linty things on them, I'll like take it out of the stash and probably keep around 10 to 14 socks since I do laundry often. Um, it might sound crazy to you, to you, but it's just too much taking up space. Like this whole thing was filled for no reason. I'm glad I've been able to stay on the undies department, under shirts and under whatever. <laughs> there are literally 14 of these and then um, five of these little tanks and then eight of these t-shirts, so that's 13. So for shorts, I already know these are too tiny. <laughs> this, and again, if if I go on a trip like I want to, then I will kind of need shorts. But if I don't, then I won't need them. So after January, um, I will get, well, donate them. Yeah, these will definitely be too little. So I'm gonna, these are school shorts. These are two school shorts and then these are, so I'll keep one, no. By the summer 2022, he won't fit those. So one, two, three, four. He doesn't need four of the almost same color. So one, two, three. And then these two are school shorts and then these two are play shorts. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna hold on to these and if in january by january we do not go on the trip then i can donate them and then i'll hold on to these three for summer 2022 these are just play shorts and um these are school shorts so does this count as the maybe pal the sweaters work good on they all fit and he's wearing them right now so so, I don't know. I'm not even gonna hold on to them for another couple of weeks. Let me just let it go now. And then, those are too small. So this and this is uniform pants, right? Easy keeper. And then, this and this, and no lag. Um, and then he has one, one two, three, four, sweatpants oh no wait there's more five with the dinosaur six um this counts right seven eight enough for the whole week okay okay seven days in a week we have eight sets of not even sets but you know sweatpants 
I can't do this. I thought I could, but I can't. These are definitely, I forgot that I'm supposed to be building out. So this is definitely a keep, but I still cannot figure out these maybes. I like the army fatigue for him. And I love the dinosaur. I cannot be ruthless. Like I just can't. So that leaves me with six pairs of sweatpants. And then he has the two school sweatpants. This is like, what am I? And then we have one, two, three, uh, four nicer pants. One, two, three, four jeans. And then these are a little big, not for now. I mean, he could probably get away wearing them now, but I like for his stuff to be fitted. There are two pairs of great pants. Maybe I'll get rid of these because they're on the skinnier side, even though he looks so cute and I love it on him. Um, yeah, so the cut of it. Okay, so that happens too. So I'm letting go of three pants. That's it. One, two, three. And also I got rid of the skinnier one. I'm choosing to let them go because he can't really fit his long johns under them. He can, but it's just, it brings it to a whole another level of skinny. So. So I'm keeping it old school and I plan to just put the summer tops away or summer clothes away, which I didn't really do before because I don't know. But now I see that um, just to better organize myself and if my son needs to dress himself, I don't want him pulling out a summer top in the middle of winter when he has plenty of winter tops. Even though for myself, I actually do wear short sleeve, but I'll just layer it with a sweater or a cardigan, whatever you want to call it. But he's little. I just want him to be able to pull out a long sleeve shirt and a pair of pants Mommy, and go back. I repeat, not easy for me. So for shirts, I did, I have some. Right? I have some. One, two, three, four, five. So, 13 shirts that I'm going to do. I'm going to go on this side. Maybe more. Because this is it's too much. I'll count. Nine regular like t-shirts, graphic tee type shirts. And then there are five polo shirts and three button-down collared shirts. Um, way too much. I want him to have like seven shirts. So I wanted for him to have seven shirts and he definitely went over seven shirts and I don't know what to do. What I can do is not consume more. But Christmas is coming. And you know, people love to consume. And I have to accept that. I have to accept the fact that I told everyone, no clothes. That's just it. No clothes. So he has seven regular long sleeve shirts, and then these are thermals. Um, four thermals, a little jean button up long sleeve shirt, and then um, two thin sweaters and one thick sweater, pullover type sweaters. He also, oh, he has a fourth, and then he has one in a wash. I have a start. I started. I said 13, right? I started. That's a start. That's all I can do. So I'm obsessing over the number and I keep remembering and forgetting that we do have summer, spring, winter, fall. And yeah. Now for winter season, we do have 15 tops, but then he's bringing it, he's wearing it to school and the paint and coloring and whatever else he does in school might mess it up um and then again when the spring summer hits he'll have another 15 tops provided that he doesn't add any so i'm gonna do the one in one out if he gets one or two i'll i'll take away one or two just to keep the numbers down because more than 15 is just it's too much for me and then the pants i told you it's like six pairs of sweatpants so that should carry him throughout the rest of this year into the next half of next year and then the same with the jeans and um slacks that we have here and then these are just sets um 
out cute and then the sweat pants set so I'm done with his stuff. I have to move on to my daughter's stuff. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm so happy that I finally oh, did that it. that was phase two, months. Two, right? Um, phase one was sorting his and hers. Phase two was uh, deciding what to keep and what not to keep. And then now phase three is putting it away. He has drawers, but the drawers are hard to get to, which is why things get confusing. And I love the drawer setup because he can go in there himself and get it and i don't fold i also do the no fold method seen on youtube all of this that i'm doing seen on youtube so yeah and i love his outfits and i will still like mix and match his bottoms and tops like his bottoms are pretty neutral just regular um colored jeans or pants so i love to mix and match i don't want to have to think about oh that doesn't match baby take that off and then he has a tantrum because I said that. And it'll bring my anxiety higher. You know, I don't want to do that to myself. I don't want to do that to him. So I love that he can go in and pick out his own, like, tops, bottom. And now he knows how to dress himself as well. So it's a win-win for all of us. I just needed to get through this. And needed to get the idea that, you know, me going on a trip shouldn't stop me from sorting out these clothes. So until I get to my daughter clothes, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, in later days.